everyone. Miserable day. Don't think I'm going to get any solar shower action today. But I thought I'd come up here and uh, work on it a little bit. Do a bit of plumbing. So I'm going to plumb in the panel to the tank. See what I can do. I'm going to get a bit wet because it's got that misty sort of feel to the rain. But we come up here and do it. Well, see, it's a bit pointless at the minute because it's not going to do anything. But uh, come springtime, it will, and it'll be all ready by then. So that's going to be good. Let's just get some bits out the van. Got some. Uh, oh, I picked up some uh, some lime for free yesterday, which was good from a friend that was going spare. Non-hydraulic lime. Oh, sorry, natural hydraulic lime. Um, so, and it's got a little bit wet in some areas, so I need to use it quite soon. So, I'm going to use that uh, for the floor in there as well um, fairly soon so it doesn't go off on us. But yeah, get some plumbing tools out, get up on the roof, plumb it in. Just, uh, just draining some of the water out of the tank. So, that may, um, I've got a tap under there where I can kind of adjust the flow rate, so that's going to be quite helpful. Um, but it'll probably be a bit more than that, but that sort of flow rate should get like a 20 minute shower out of it at least. So, maybe even two. But yeah, I'll do those tests anyway. Yeah, get it drained out, get these tank connectors fitted, and we'll be good to go. Right then, I'll show you what I've done. Um, I'll take you up there, but you see the pipe at the top there? That's the hot. That's coming out from the bottom, that's the cold. I couldn't do much filming up there, it's a bit precarious. we we'll come up. See, so the cold water comes in at the bottom, which is coming out the bottom of the tank. It goes in to the hot water panel. It gets hot, rises up, up there, up into that pipe and into the tank. So uh, that's the basic of it. Um, I'm not going to climb up there and show you in the tank. You've seen it in there, but it's just got tank connectors into the tank. I need to make a lid for the tank and I need to plumb water up to the tank. Uh, so lots more plumbing left to do. But that's the first phase. That is the uh, hot water panel plumbed in. As you can see, it comes out of the bottom of the tank there. Down at the lowest point back up at the highest point so that should work hopefully we're not going to know for a couple of months then so today i'm going to be uh doing a pebble floor uh getting a bit tidied up around here and i'll be doing some plumbing dots working with me today so she's going to be i'm going to be doing the mixing she's going to be doing the pebble floor laying them down while i get a bit more plumbing done so see i'm sort of halfway through doing the plumbing so i'm just going to be working on that a little bit and yeah so we got the floor the floor is all nice and dry in here Oop, slipped the floor is nice and dry subfloor so we're going to put pebbles on top of that with uh with lime that i got for free so it's all free which is good that's what we like so dot's just gone to get some water and then we'll mix up some lime okay i'm gonna have quite a big push today to get quite a bit done on this some lime mixed up this is a uh, uh non-hydraulic lime uh, nhl 3.5 i think yeah stuff i got for free um it's it was going off it's getting a bit old so but it's mixed up fine it's great so we're making that a nice mortar um natural mortar and then dot is just getting the hang of uh, laying them down we're just figuring it out we're just gonna lay them down like that kind of like tiling i suppose but with pebbles to lay a bed underneath them and then fill in between like grout and then we'll uh, wire brush them afterwards so I'm going to start doing some plumbing you can have a little bit of a time lapse maybe a dot doing that and uh, we're going to try and get quite a bit done today
Well, sorry about that. There might have been some moisture on the camera there while I did that time lapse. I think it condensated a bit, but Dot's doing a great job in here. They're going down exactly as we wanted. Should be quite nice to stand on. It's not perfectly flat, but that's okay. It's actually quite good for your feet anyway. But yeah, looking really cool. And it's free. I've started doing some plumbing. So uh, the mains, well not the mains, but my mains from the stream will come into this pipe here because the stream's up there running along behind here. The pipe's going to come out of the stream up there, down the hill, gravity, and come through here, and come up here, up along the roof line there. I haven't got the fittings to, to put everything I need in at the minute because because uh, the shop's closed today, but it's going to then come up there. Oh, sorry, there's going to be a shut-off valve here so that when you're showering, it isn't feeding new cold water into the tank. So you'll basically come here, you'll turn that off when you want to shower so to stop the cold water re-entering the tank as the, as the water's dropping. And then that goes up there, along, along the roof there, and then goes to a T. Now that T is there to go to take some cold water down to mix into the shower head if the water's too hot which is probably unlikely with the size of that panel, but it's, uh, it's there just in case, so you'll be able to mix cold in with it while you shower. And then it goes up through the roof, and then up there, and then that'll join into the tank, which goes into the float valve, which then fills the tank. Okay, check it out. Pebble floor, so that all slopes down, slopes this direction, and then it's slightly higher here, and then slopes down to the drain there, which then goes out the wall there this is my plumbing I need to connect still and that goes there and then comes along and then there's like this dip here and that will be a, our drain it's like a wet area anyway it's got weeds and stuff in it and the stream is at the back there so it can't it's not draining straight into the stream because there's a raised bit so that can run out it'll only be biogradable soaps and um, it's not going to cause a problem those biodegradable soaps and uh, um, it's just going to run along here and it will get filled and the nutrients from it will get used by these plants along here. Kind of like a basic reed bed system really, but without reeds it's just got weeds and stuff and they'll suck up the nutrients before it gets into the stream. Uh, it's not going to have massive use anyway, I say it's like biodegradable soaps only. So yeah, really pleased with it, it looks good and I started doing it around here as well. But I've run out, I don't have enough pebbles, so I need to get a few more pebbles. I started doing it down there too. so call it a day today and then um, get some more pebbles and then carry on okay hey everyone new day nice day too and uh, the floors hardening slowly because it's lime it does it slowly but it's looking good as you can see it's uh, it's still soft I can pat down the little lumps and still move it around a bit so it's still soft <clears throat> and we're getting minus two temperatures tonight so a bit concerned about that i'm gonna have to cover this up but that's okay so i'm gonna get this side over here done because i just want to get it done and then i'm gonna cover it up and so it doesn't get frozen because i've only got this little bit here to do so yeah i'm gonna get this little bit done and i'll um i'll cover it up all good tonight hopefully it doesn't freeze all right then i had to uh, charge the camera there for a bit but I've just been uh, putting a bit of plaster on here and we're going to put the pebbles on these surfaces for like resting your shampoo bottle on or whatever. Um, it, this is definitely a bit risky doing this with these cold temperatures but I think it will be okay. Um, I'm quite sure it will be. So yeah, I'm going to set you up on a time lapse so I can listen to the radio and uh, I'm going to put some of those little pebbles on these surfaces. Okay, little uh, soap shelves pebbled. They, it's obviously all going to need wire brushing once it's done, but that's okay. Put a bit of a plaster over the cob just to make it look, basically just change the colour of it more than anything. Um, so we just got to make sure this doesn't get frozen tonight. Today's going to be quite warm enough, so uh, it's going to have a bit of a chance to dry today or cure. Um, with lime you don't really want it to cure fast but this isn't structured or anything so I'm not too bothered about it but yeah it's a bit risky but I think we're gonna be alright but if uh, 
if you're planning on uh, using lime it's best not to use it in these temperatures I'm not advising it really but with proper precautions and covering up it will probably be okay Right then, the toilet side is pebbled. Uh, just got some lime in there, so I need to uh, make something around that. Probably wood and put a toilet seat on it and stuff, and figure out how it's going to be emptied and all that kind of stuff with that. That's all right. That's just the main sort of base for it yet. Yeah, so we'll figure something out for that. But that's good. That floor's done. I'm showing you around here, but we'll just show you again. That floor's done, and we got some plastering done with some pebbles, which is nice. So this has got about 10 hours, 10, 12 hours now before the temperatures get really low. And um, and then I'm gonna, later on, I'll come up here and I'll put down some old blankets and stuff and, and, and cover it up once it's, um, you know, once it's lost a bit of its moisture. So it doesn't just all sink into the blankets. I'll come up here and cover it all over. And then that'll be left then for uh, probably a week or so at least. Uh, while we've got these cold temperatures um, so that's about what I'm going to do with that today so now I'm going to go out and get the plumbing fittings so I can carry on doing the plumbing I need a shut off valve for there and a shut off valve for there and a couple of connectors yeah so we're going to go out and get some parts so just uh, getting this shut off valve fitted so if you don't know what this is doing I'll quickly explain this is so that um, when you're removing water from the top tank and water is draining out of it we don't want it filling back up with cold water while you're showering because it will just cool down the temperature so this is so you fill it this is just to fill the tank open it the tank fills up then you close it off and then the tank's full it can heat up you drain the tank and then you fill the tank back up again okay hope that makes sense come out into there that should be left for now until I run it and up the side there up and up to the tank okay let's get up to the tank and do the connections up we're up on the roof now and I'm going from uh, 25 mil MDPE to uh, 15 mil got an adapter and that goes into the tank there like that that's it that's the main water coming into the tank so just got to tighten that up there and get the cladding and stuff back on. But I'll probably wait to do the cladding until I've got everything else done. Okay, so we've got the uh, connection done up there. Just needs to put the cladding back on. So I think I'm going to leave that video here for now because the video is getting quite long. We've done quite a bit, quite a bit of content in here. So in the next video, we'll finish doing uh, plastering get the shower head done and the outlet of the tank run and fit the shower head up there that you see me make in this video uh, we get all the cladding back on and uh, do some finalizing stuff and then we video after that we'll probably be making some doors and then uh, and then we'll be ready to connect it up but I might not do that until spring maybe but uh, but yeah so I'm gonna leave that video there because it's already getting too long so 
I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you very much for watching.